my god, look at my lips, it's burning. There's no, there's even no skin on it anymore. You guys have to like this. Look at this! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing, um, I don't know, I think it's because it's like a fall time. So I guess maybe a fall color lip product. I don't know. Uh, let's just say that this colors or this typical colors and product that I have right now with me is a typical of colors and product that I will use during the fall time. Uh, simply just because uh, the color fits the theme. I mean the weather, the season. Yeah, just, I'll do lip swatches and some swatches. Okay, uh, so because we have a lot of time to do, we have a lot of things to do, let's just start from now. Okay, bring you guys closer. Uh, one of the color that I already use on my lips right now is this Chanel. It's called Chanel Cream Lipstick in Malice or number 10. Which I don't know if you can get this outside Europe or not. I don't know. So I'm just gonna swatch this in my hand to show you guys. So it looks like this. It's actually like a dusty, I'll say a dark, dusty, not rosy, dark, not rosy, dusty. Plum. It looks like that, and that's how it looks on my lips. And then, um, since we start with purple already, let's just go on with purple first. I have with me this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss, I'm going to swatch it on my hand. So this is how it looks like. It's really vampy in my opinion. But I think it's kind of great for fall time. Very vampy. It's really dark in my camera. In real life it's not actually that black. But it looks kind of... You see that right? I love Anastasia with really awesome clothes. The smells really great and the shine is great. So that's the it's this one is called black cherry lip gloss. That explains the blackness of the cherry color. And then with me I have my lipstick from Peri Para. This one is the Rouge Pang one. If you guys still remember I do a video about this baby and the other friend of the baby. This one actually uh goes more into a uh, pink <laughs> it's really pink beside this thing but if you compare this with the other lipsticks it's going to be uh, like purple fuchsia I don't know why but I like to wear this during the fall time sometimes to be more cheerful a bit I guess I don't know. and then uh, this one is Lime Crime Unicorn Lipstick I actually really love this color. This one is Century Fuchsia. And that's the color. They look pretty similar, but Century Fuchsia is way more darker definitely have more purple in it okay so this is the pink and purple that I think kind of fit for fall I don't know why I just think that red color also fit for fall spring and summer and winter if you like it I will just start with thin. This is the Tony Molly Delight Tint in the color red. So 
This is the color. It's like a blood red. And the staying power of this tin is actually quite good. I'll say you got a good four to five hour usage. Drinking, uh, eating without oil, it will stay quite good. Really good. This one is. This one actually is a less year. Um, fall lip tint. This one is the Dear Darling tint from Edit House, and this one is called. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Vampire Red. No, Witch Red. Yeah, Witch Red. I'm sorry, that's Vampire, but Witch Red. Okay, this one might look really light compared to the Tony Molly one, but if you wear this, it's like... It's like your lips go down all of a sudden. It's pretty light compared to the Tony Moly one, but it's actually the color looks really great on lips. You'll see later when I swatch it for you guys. This one is also from Edit House, and this one is their. Uh, sweet cherry thin. Now the reason why I choose this thing because it's actually quite moisturizing during the fall time and the color when you apply it like two or three coats it looks really good for me it's quite good and then next I'm going to show you guys this is the Patty Petta Lumi Pang in the shade RD005 or the no spoiler if I'm not mistaken it's called no spoiler right oh wait no it's called sensual uh almost about all of my tints smells fruity oh, this is the sensual one the red one you guys can see it's like red 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 So I have two more of reds. If you look from my camera, it does look similar, but they actually look different. Definitely different. This one is the Peri Pera Paris Ink. This one is the no spoiler one. And this one is crazy. What I mean by crazy is that when once it's dry, without the remover, you cannot remove it. So I have to do this quick. So there is no spoiler. As you guys can see, it's really bright. And if you compare it with other tint, this one looks like a liquid lipstick, but with a shine finish, which is kind of okay if you like. Um, if you like shiny kind of finish look for your lip and this one is Aritaum kind of lasting thin now for long lasting thin Peri Peri Paris Ink uh, kind of lasting thin from Aritaum Tony Moly Delight Tony Tony Moly Delight Tin Tony Tin Delight Tony Moly Tony Tin Delight is uh, the long lasting This one is called the red. If you're talking about um, texture wise, I think the color lasting one is quite moisturizing. The Paris ink one sometimes could be drying. So it's better if you put some lip balm on before while you're doing your makeup and then you put your lips after that. I keep on looking at my viewfinder. Sorry about that. But anyway, yeah. And this one is moisturizing. In case you can see that. When the other ones are dry, that hasn't dry. It 
<laughs> the Tony one, the Tony Molly one already. Is, it's already dry in my hand. I have to wash this. So this is the red ones. It looks like uh, you know, like like a vampy red. I don't know why. I just think that the vampire ha always have red lips. So does witches sometimes in movies, and they all look pretty and stuff. My hands, <laughs> my hands are red. This is crazy. Okay, let's move on to vampy brownish lips. I have some orange undertone here. We'll go with the orange undertone first. I think orange undertone, red undertones, browns, and terracotta. I'm gonna use my other hand <laughs> because it's like kind of really stained. I'm going to start with my most favorite one. So, you guys know I love Captain Lights. So, her Ultra Miami Fever is, of course, my favorite for fall time. When I first thought that, that they are going to discontinue this thing during their first launch. I bought two of them. I love them that much. I bought two of them. So. Okay. So this is the first color. This is Miami Weaver. I love Miami Weaver. Really, really like warm pumpkin -y. Leaves, you know, that orange leaf and pumpkin colored, really pretty. I love them. And then we have uh, what? And this one is Wet and Wild Cinnamon Spice. This is the mega last long lasting lipstick, and it's matte. I love this color. And then this is the NYX, the NYX Lips Lingerie in the shade Exotic. I also just got this actually, but I forgot to, in, to put this in my collective haul. I don't know why. I forgot. So, Miami Weaver, Cinnamon Spice, Exotic. This is Lime Crime Riot. This is actually my favorite color for Lime Crime Velveteens. I use this color the most from all lime crime velveteen that I own. I use this the most. That's the color. And then this one is the Misha limited edition one. The limited edition one from Misha. Excellent friends. And this is the color. This one is Salsa Red from Misha. You still can get this in eBay or Amazon. People are selling this thing. I actually want to have uh, 
backup one for my maple latte but I just I don't know whether I'm going to buy it again or not we'll see so this is the orange brownie undertone okay so this is the last batch which is I which I called a red and brown undertone so this is the white and wild mega last the color and the shade cherry bomb I'm going to swatch this for you guys so that is the color this is cherry bomb And then this is my second my second favorite. This is Kathleen Might's Havana Night. Now you guys can see that cherry bomb looks much more I'll say darker than Havana and Havana is much more reddish than uh, cherry bomb This is like my perfect vampy lip color This both, both of them Okay this one is more colicious This is like brown that's it definitely just brown like pure pure brown lipstick with a big yellow undertone more delicious from wet and wild and this one last but not least is my Chanel This one is Chanel in Rouge Noir, which is actually like just black, brownie brown black. So these two have a red undertone, this one have a brown undertone, these two. So yeah, um, I guess that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the below if you haven't. Thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below of what you think about this kind of video and what are your favorite fall products of all time. Down below and yeah, I'll see you guys soon.